What's up guys, today we have a Tesla Model Y in the shop getting a full vinyl wrap. Like I mentioned earlier, we do have this Tesla Model Y getting a full vinyl wrap. This is getting wrapped up in Satin Desert Storm, which is this really nice kind of sandy look. You don't see too many vehicles like this out on the road. However, this is probably gonna be one of the only ones that I've personally seen in Colorado getting wrapped up in this color. Ahmed is currently working on this vehicle. So far, he's got the hood as well as the passenger fender wrapped up. We've gotten the vehicle all disassembled and ready to wrap, and now it's time for him to take it away. So we just got a special package from YouTube. I'm not entirely sure exactly what it is. I'm guessing it is our 100K plaque. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. It actually got here last week. However, I was out of town. So thankfully the guys actually waited until I got back and so we can shoot a video for you guys just to show you guys exactly what's in it. I honestly have no idea how it looks. I'm guessing it's like silver or glass. Um, so this is a first for both of us. So this is a little interesting note from YouTube. Just talks about our first follower, 100th, 1,000th, and obviously now our 100,000th follower. You got another card from, I believe, um, the people that make it. And then if you look at that, you got the uh, YouTube plaque with Mile High Customs. You got the 100K subscribers. So you got the two little things to hang it up on the wall. We'll probably maybe stick it up in here. I don't know, maybe the front lobby. I think it'd be cool for customers and clients just to kind of see that we do have 100K subscribers on YouTube. So I don't know, let us know in the comments below. Should we stick it up in our office or should we stick it up in the front lobby? Let us know whichever one gets more comments or votes. We'll go ahead and do it that way. So again, thank you guys for helping us achieve this huge milestone. 100K is definitely a huge accomplishment. Hopefully, what, 250 next, 500, and then a million. Um, but that's it for this. Now back to the video. Hey guys, just wanted to give you a little update on the Tesla. It is just me working on this Tesla today. I'm currently finishing up the trunk. We are about halfway done with the Tesla. We just have the three doors left and two bumpers. Robert just finished up tinting the two front windows. We are getting the Tesla emblems painted in, I'm pretty sure, satin black. And as soon as that happens, the car will be done and be ready to deliver to the customer. What's good guys? I just got back from vacation. The guys over here were holding it down while I was gone. I was out in Mexico for a few days. I did a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, one of the things was zip lining. It was super cool, but I wouldn't do it again. It was very uncomfortable. <laughs> 
but it was a good experience. But now I'm back, ready to knock out this Tesla that we got here. I'm just finishing up some inlays that we got. I'm on the last piece. After that, we're gonna throw it on the car and then finish off with the final stretch. What's up guys, Sean from Mile High Customs. Welcome back to the channel. We just wrapped up this brand new 2022 Model Y. Uh, this one went in the APA Satin Desert Storm. The original color is white. Um, so, you know, the customer wanted a little bit something different. I'm pretty sure you guys will like it. You know, it, it is satin, right? So it has a little bit of sheen to it, right? But not glossy. Uh, definitely like a one of one. Haven't seen any of these running around the streets of Denver at least. We could take a quick walk around, man. We did do a matte black front emblem for the customer. We also did some ceramic film for them to keep it nice and cool. Tesla has a lot of glass, so any ceramic film you can do to kind of reduce any heat is always amazing. Right here, we did a matte black rear emblem. We went ahead and did a matte black dual motor emblem as well, uh, just to kind of match it up with the OEM look. And then we did finish this vehicle with a visor on the front. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this time. Please like and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time.